YouTube, what's going on? It's Ease Kicks and Topics back with another video. Um, today, quick topic video. I'm not gonna touch too much on it. Just tell my quick thoughts, my opinions. Um, in case you haven't heard in the shoe world going on right now, Nike is suing StockX for giving them counterfeit. Foo foo shoes selling them. So Nike lawyers, the people that actually make Nike shoes, purposely brought shoes off Stock X, and Stock X been giving them fake shoes, counterfeit shoes. I got more on the story. Uh, link in uh, link it will be in my description below. Uh, you want to read more on it. I'm just going to touch key points, whatever. And I'm not trying not to make this video too long. Um, straight to the point. I never liked the Stock X. But the crazy thing is, between Stock X and GOAT, over the past five years, I believe, I have brought more shoes off Stock X than GOAT. Um... Are y'all surprised? Because you cannot, and I repeat, you cannot buy shoes off these sites and not think you're not going to get got. Because the main reason is, if you know what you're looking for to, you know, authenticate your shoe or you know what you can separate between authentic and fugazi you have to do that you are putting your trust in mike brenda kelly uh um carl uh <laughs> anybody that works in that and is designed that job title you have no way of stopping from them approving a shoe and sending it to you. you. We are playing a dangerous game when you buy from these sites because that's the risk, that's the gamble, that's what you're going to receive. Because Mike authenticated your shoe but missed, missed key details. That's why I say it's important that you... Know your knowledge. But even if you do get a Fugazi shoe, now you got a whole different problem. Now you you have to message them, which you waiting on a message. Then you got to sit there and prove why this shoe is Fugazi or fake. And then they're going to counterattack because they're not trying to give you your money back. Or they just giving you the runaround. So it's a hassle in itself when you try to call them out. Now, this is the crazy thing about StockX. I prefer gold over StockX right now. I think I think the last shoes I brought from StockX was the Raging Bull 5s, I believe, um, last year. Um, or sometime this year, I, I believe. I think it was, yeah, it was this year, I think. My bad. Um... You, 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 you just, I, I prefer GOAT because it seemed like it's faster, Stock X, it seemed like it's more expensive, but some people saying Stock X got better prices. I don't know. Me, I think they're the same, but GOAT delivers the shoes faster, Stock X, it goes through too much because it got to go get authenticated. GOAT has shoes that you can buy that's already at their place where they authenticate shoes and they can instantly ship them. It's called instantly ship. It's already there at the warehouse, wherever, and they ship it straight to you. Now, my thing about getting fake shoes. If you do your knowledge, if you do your knowledge, you realize that retail and the fake shoes come from the same place. They're made by the same people. Let me repeat that. 
Your retail shoes come from the same place that the Fugazis come from. People got to understand the Fugazis and the fakes don't look like they were in 2007, 5, where they were just nozzle. These damn shoes look just as good, if not better, than your retail pair. Why is it that your retail pair got more flaws than these, these uh, so-called fake shoes? Ask yourself that. I'm not going to give out too much more free game. Y'all do y'all research. At the end of the day, like I said, you have to know what you're looking for. You are playing a dangerous game where you're ordering from these places. If you're not meeting up locally with somebody trying to buy some shoes where you can authenticate yourself with the knowledge that you instilled in your head. You are giving Mike, Brenda, Kelly, Mark, Steve. You are giving these unknown motherfuckers. A chance to send you fake shoes. And then you piss because you... And don't let it be an expensive shoe. I'm talking about 600 and up. 500 and up. Shit, even 400. And, uh, and you realize that the shoe ain't authentic. Now you super pissed. Now you feel like a stank hoe. Because you just got used. Um, Like I said, Nike... Might try to Nike is the company that don't don't never want to see nobody succeed. They one of them stingy ass motherfuckers. Like, oh man, why you got to do it like that? They want to take everything, so they're gonna try to take their stuff from Stock X. And if that happens, Stock X will have a major blow because most of their profits are from Nike shoes. And then this is the crazy thing: Stock X about to be kissing all. Customers' asses because now they dropped a pro uh, processing fee or whatever to like four four dollars and twenty five cents for the rest of the year or twelve months, I believe. They they about to because Nike has built up this claim, this experiment, and they got sold the fakes of their own product. How the fuck you sell fake products to the people that make the shit? You understand? So, and it was the Jordan 1 patented breads. Those just came out. And you just sold them. You was just selling them. Selling them to the Nike people. It's been countless issues. You can look up multiple Stock X videos where a lot of people say they didn't got sent fakes or they got sent somebody else's shoe, a wrong shoe, wrong shoe size. So when they try to get their money back, or whatever, Stock X has been giving a run around. It's everywhere on YouTube. You can look up multiple videos about how Stock X, and I have really not really liked Stock X like that, man. Unless it's literally, literally, I always compare the two. But it, GOAT gives you your shoes faster than Stock X. And to me, I feel like Stock X is more expensive than GOAT. That's just my opinion. But Stock X about to take a major blow. Like Nike already done fucked up Foot Locker, removing their shit from them, fucking up all that champs, all that shit, moving Nike, all that shit. So now they taking blows. Now they about to hit one of the major, major online shoe companies or sites, I mean, Stock X. That's a major blow. Now what if Jordan brand get involved and try to do the same experiment that Nike just did. Well, actually, Nike and Jordan is the same. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. Nike and Jordan, yeah, kind of the same damn thing. But I'm just solely talking about Jordan brand. What if Jordan brand solely go after Jordans and, and Stock X and them fake shoes? Then what? What the fuck Stock X going to do? Just like Foot Locker in these stores. They just going to have Adidas in there? Reebok, Puma. It's barely it's it's bad enough you go in these stores and you don't find nothing anyway. I've been telling people this. The motherfuckers that authenticate your shoes, man, 
that shit pisses you. It should piss you off. Because they're not sending you pictures to give you the okay to ship them. You like the way you they look. That shit is a crime in itself. They need to send you pictures of the shoe before they ship it off to you. QC pics. They need to do that. So people can test their own knowledge and then see. And if you get got, hey. You, you gave him the green light. But at the same time, is it really so bad if you wear fakes or UAs or whatever the fuck the fuck you call them? Is it really bad? Yes, it's bad when you buying it from these motherfucking sites. Because you spent you spending a lot of motherfucking money. And that's what I'm saying. It's mother like rappers and shit go off stock X because they don't know. They just spending the bread. Some of these people ain't even really sneaker heads like that or really know anything. They just think like, oh, a site that authenticates your shoes, that's good. Famous people, wealthy people, rich people are buying from these sites and getting got. But you think they care because if you ask most of them, they like, man, I'm not about to spend 3K on a fucking shoe. Who would, though? For a shoe? Hmm. Hey. Hey. You understand? Maybe, maybe if you super, super had it, maybe. You understand? I'll go back and forth. It depends on how bad I want the shoe if I had it like that. If I really, really want the shoe, maybe. If it's not going to hurt, you know, hurt me like that. I'm talking about wealthy level. If I, if, I, if I feel like I couldn't afford it or whatever, or it will make me feel some type of way, I don't need the shoe. Or I'll try some, uh, some other way, eBay or some shit. That's what I'm saying. Also, eBay, it, it, the, the crazy thing is you see the shoe before you buy it. So you have to do your research right there. StockX has to do that. You don't see these pictures. Even if you sell a shoe, you don't even see certain things. Like, I mean, oh, like if you buy a shoe, like you can't see what it looked like. At least on go, a used shoe, you can see what it looks like. Stock X is just dead stock. Goat does dead stock like that too. Where you don't see what it looks like or whatever. All these sites need to give you QC pictures. I just think it's crazy. I've been telling people about StockX for the longest. I really don't fuck with them like that. This justifies it. Nike is on their ass. Nike wants to remove their products from, from their site. They about to take them down. They ain't about to be making They about to take a huge chunk of their money because StockX makes a lot of their profit off Nike. Fuck them. So, I, I I mean, I, I just don't understand why people ain't been making this a fucking issue. But Nike has to come out, go out their way to realize that shit. I mean, to, to publicly handle these two. Now they about to start, don't be surprised if they start doing deals or whatever. Just trying to get a little bit of any type of money. Not unless the courts and Nike stop them from selling Nike products. That's with the Kobe's and all that shit too. But if I'm Nike, if you make a majority of the money off stock X, would you stop that money flow? That's why I say QC pictures is important because both sides win and the customer should feel even more safe when you can sit there and look at the QC pictures and do your research. I'm giving y'all free game right now, but are y'all listening to me? Hmm. But that's either here or there. Like I said, story in the link below in the description, um, you know, Please hit, please hit that like, subscribe button, hit that bell button for me as my road to 100 subscribers. I got to keep grinding, got to keep grinding. But it's been real, and I'll see y'all in the next video.